All right, so are you ready to dive into this press release? It's all about Amplitech Group and a new addition to their board of directors. Yeah, this should be interesting. Amplitech is doing some really cool stuff. Definitely. But before we get into all that, let's start with the basics. Sounds good. What exactly does Amplitech do? Like in a nutshell, what's their main thing? Well, at their core, they're all about signal processing. Okay, so they work with signals. I'm not really sure what that means. Sure, so basically they design and manufacture components that manage and amplify signals for all sorts of electronic communications. Hmm. Okay, so like they make sure signals are strong and clear. Yeah, that's a great way to think about it. It's like a booster for all things electronic. Got it. And this is used in like our phones and stuff. Exactly, and it goes way beyond that. They cover everything from satellite communications to 5G networks, even quantum computing. Whoa, 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 quantum computing, that sounds super complicated. It is pretty mind boggling, yeah. but it just shows how diverse their work is. Mm -hmm. They're not just working on today's tech, they're laying the groundwork for the future of communication. Wow, okay, so we're talking about a company that's really pushing the boundaries. Absolutely, and it's pretty amazing that a company on Long Island is playing such a big role in all of this. Yeah, I never would have guessed that. You know, before this deep dive, I never really thought about all the complex technology that makes modern communication possible. It's easy to take it for granted, isn't it? But Amplitech's expertise is in high demand from everyone from major telecom companies to government agencies, even Fortune 50 companies. Okay, so they're definitely making some serious moves in the tech world. But let's get back to that press release. Right. It says they've appointed Shalish Sunny Modi to their board of directors. What's the big deal about that? Well, it's more than just adding another name to the board. Mm. Modi brings a ton of experience to the table, close to 40 years in finance and business. Oh, so he's not just a tech guy. Exactly. It shows that Amplitech is serious about strategic financial management as they grow. So he's like a financial strategist. You got it. And his resume is really impressive. He worked at Deloitte & Touch, dealing with IPOs and complex financial transactions. Then he was the CFO and treasurer at Shelter Point Life Insurance Company for nine years. Oh, that's a long time. And get this, he actually led the sale of Shelter Point to Protective Life Insurance Company just last year. Seriously. Wow. So he knows how to make big things happen. For sure. Now, if we look at Amplitech's recent activity, it's pretty clear they're gearing up for something big. Oh, really? Like what? Well, they've been actively raising capital through a series of registered direct offerings. I'm not really familiar with that. What does that mean? Basically, it involves selling shares directly to investors to raise funds. It suggests they're getting ready for some major moves. OK, so they're bringing in money and they've got this financial expert on board. It definitely sounds like they're ready to make some waves. Absolutely. But the question is, what kind of waves? Right. What are they planning? That's the million dollar question. They could be thinking about acquisitions expanding into new markets or even developing totally new product lines. Hmm. That's a lot to consider. It is. And Modi's expertise will be super valuable as they navigate this exciting but also potentially challenging phase of growth. This is getting really interesting. So they're not just focusing on the tech side. They're building a team that can handle rapid growth strategically. Exactly. It's a smart move. OK, so we've got the big picture. Now I think we need to dig into the specifics of what Modi will actually be doing for Amplitech. Yeah, good point. So it's not just about him joining the board of directors. He's also been appointed to the audit committee, the nominating committee, and the governance committee. Hey, hold on. They're putting him in charge of auditing, too. That seems like a lot of responsibility, especially for a tech company. It is a lot. But remember, auditing is all about ensuring financial transparency and accountability. And this becomes even more important for a publicly traded company like Amplitech as it grows and attracts investors. That makes sense. So they want to make sure everything is above board. Exactly. And you know what this actually ties into? One of the most fascinating aspects of Amplitech's work. Something most people wouldn't even think is connected to all of this. Oh, really? I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Remember how we talked about Amplitech's work with quantum computing? That's where it gets really interesting. Quantum computing? How does that relate to auditing? It might sound crazy, mm. but quantum computers could actually revolutionize the way audits are done. Imagine being able to analyze huge amounts of data at lightning speed, finding patterns and anomalies that would be impossible for regular computers to detect. So we're talking about a future where audits are powered by quantum computers. That's wild. It is pretty mind-blowing, right? Yeah. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, I think we need to back up a bit. Yeah, you're right. I still don't really understand what quantum computing is or how Amplitech is involved. 
Okay, so it's a bit of a tough concept, but basically quantum computers use the principles of quantum mechanics to perform calculations in a completely different way than traditional computers. Hmm, okay. And they have the potential to solve incredibly complex problems that are way beyond our reach right now. Wow, so they're like super powered computers. You could say that, hmm. but here's the catchations. These quantum computers need to operate at extremely low temperatures, almost absolute zero. Absolute zero. That's like the coldest anything can possibly get right. Exactly. And this is where Amplitec comes in. They specialize in designing and manufacturing cryogenic amplifiers, which are these super specialized components that can actually function in those extreme environments. Oh, wow. So their technology is literally helping to make quantum computing possible. Precisely. Yeah. Pretty amazing to think about how their work is pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. It really is. And it's not just quantum computing either, right? Yeah. Nope. Think about the implications for you as technology keeps evolving. Faster internet speeds, more reliable communication networks, even advancements in fields like healthcare and artificial intelligence. Okay, I'm starting to see how all of this connects. It's pretty exciting stuff. It is. But let's be realistic for a second. What kind of challenges does a company like Amplitech face in trying to achieve all these ambitious goals? Well, for starters, the technology landscape is constantly changing. Think about it. 5G is still pretty new, and they're already working on 6G. To stay ahead of the game, they need to constantly innovate and invest in research and development. So it's like running a marathon where the finish line keeps moving further away. Uh-huh, exactly. And then there's the issue of competition. Ampletech isn't the only player in this field. They're up against some huge global corporations with tons of resources. So it's not just about having great technology, it's about being able to compete on a global scale. Exactly. They need to be strategic, not just with their technology, but also with securing partnerships and attracting top talent. You mentioned attracting talent earlier. I bet it's tough to find engineers who specialize in these cutting edge fields. It's incredibly competitive, especially in a field like cryogenic engineering. But Amplitech seems to be doing a good job attracting skilled people. They've built a reputation for innovation and cutting edge work, which is a big drive for ambitious engineers. So they're not just building a company, they're building a team of experts who are passionate about pushing the limits of technology. Absolutely. It's inspiring. But we've talked a lot about the exciting potential of Amplitech's work. What about the risks? Investing in cutting edge technology can be expensive and there's no guarantee of success. You're absolutely right. There are definitely risks involved. Research and development can be costly, especially in such a rapidly evolving field. And there's always the chance that a competitor might develop a better technology or that market conditions could change. So Amplitech is taking a calculated gamble, betting on their ability to stay ahead of the curve and deliver groundbreaking technology that will shape the future. Exactly. And that's where someone like Sonny Modi, with his financial expertise and experience in navigating complex transactions, could be a real game changer. You know, it's interesting. There's a parallel here between Amplitech's technology and their business strategy. They're both about managing risk amplifying potential and navigating a complex landscape. It's like they're applying the principles of signal processing to their own growth trajectory. That's a brilliant observation. It seems like they're not just building components, they're building a future where communication technology plays an even bigger role in our lives. And they're doing it with a combination of technological expertise and smart financial planning. It makes you wonder, what would the world look like if more companies took this kind of approach? That's a great question. It seems Amplitech is giving us a glimpse into a future where innovation and financial savvy go hand in hand, driving progress and shaping the world around us. Hmm, that's a really interesting thought. So how does all of this translate into real benefits for the average person? That's the key question, isn't it? It's easy to get caught up in the technical details, but the real impact is how this technology shapes our lives. Imagine a world with super fast internet speeds where you can download a whole movie in seconds. Think about the possibilities for things like remote healthcare, where doctors can perform virtual surgeries with incredible precision. Wow, that would be incredible. These are just a few examples of how Amplitech's work could impact our everyday lives. It's amazing to think that this relatively small company on Long Island could have such a far reaching impact. It really is. It shows that innovation can come from anywhere and that even a smaller company can make a huge difference. Okay, I'm getting really excited about all this, but I also have some concerns. What about the potential downsides of such rapid technological advancement? That's an important point. As technology becomes more powerful, 
we need to think about the ethical implications. For example, how do we make sure this technology is used responsibly and doesn't make existing inequalities worse? Right, it's not enough to just develop new technologies. We need to think about how they'll be used and what impact they'll have on society. Exactly, and that's a conversation that everyone needs to be a part of. Not just scientists and engineers, but also policymakers, ethicists, and everyday people like you and me. It's like we're all standing at the edge of a new frontier filled with incredible opportunities and potential pitfalls. I like that analogy. And the decisions we make today will determine what kind of future we create. Hmm. That's a powerful thought. So as you think about Amplitech and the technologies they're developing, I encourage you to think about not just the technical side, but also the broader societal implications. You've given me a lot to think about, that's for sure. So before we wrap up, what's your take on the future of Ampletech? What do you think the next few years hold for them? That's a tough one to predict, but I think it's safe to say that Ampletech is a company to keep an eye on. They're clearly on the rise with a strong team, innovative technology, and a strategic vision for growth. So you think they have what it takes to become a major player in the future of communication? I think so. Yeah. They're not just responding to the demands of the market, they're actively shaping it. Yeah. And that's a pretty exciting place to be. It's like they're not just building components. They're building a future where communication technology is even more integrated into our lives. You got it. They're not just riding the wave. They're helping to create it. I have to say, I'm feeling pretty optimistic about the future after this deep dive. It's inspiring to see a company like Ampletech pushing the boundaries of technology and paving the way for a more connected and innovative world. I agree. And it reminds us that we all have a role to play in shaping that future whether it's by supporting companies like Ampletech, participating in conversations about technology, or simply being curious about the world around us. We can all contribute to a brighter and more connected tomorrow. Well said. All right, so that wraps up our deep dive into Ampletech Group for today. We've covered a lot of ground from the details of signal processing to the mind-boggling world of quantum computing. Yeah, it's been a fascinating journey. And who knows, maybe one day we'll look back at this conversation and remember it as the moment we first learned about a company that's about to revolutionize the way we connect with the world. That's an exciting thought. It just goes to show that sometimes the most groundbreaking innovations come from the most unexpected places. Absolutely. That's the beauty of exploration. You never know what you might discover. So keep exploring, keep learning, and keep those questions coming. I agree. Because in a world driven by technology, the most valuable thing we have is our curiosity. Couldn't have said it better myself. And on that note, this has been your deep dive into Amplitech Group. Until next time. See ya. Do you want a deep dive podcast like this? Contact Bull Run by Charlie Devanzo.